Hi, I'm Maggie Harding with the Eileen Hall Design Team, and today I want to share with you a wrapped journal that I made for our collaboration with Emerald Creek and Seth Apter. So this is the wrapped journal from the Book Club 2 collection, which is the latest collection Eileen has uh, out right now. And this makes just the cutest little mini album. I love it. It opens up like so. And on the inside, it's like this. And it's called the Wrap Journal because it wraps like that. Okay, so let's take a look at the cover before we go inside. I have used Emerald Creek embossing powder on this heart here. This is a chipboard heart and around the edges all around. And the embossing powder that I used is Ancient Amber, and it is just so pretty. It uh, really looks like a piece of amber. It's got little flecks in it. And so to get this around the edge, I just dabbed on some embossing ink and then sprinkled it and heat set it. And uh, this um, Ancient Amber is from the Baked Texture collection, which is done with Seth Apter. That's a great set of, um, of embossing powders. There are seven of them, and they are just all so cool. Have the greatest texture to them. Um, really enjoying those. So now to do the cover, I first painted the background with some of Seth's paints. I used Buff and mahogany and I brayered that on my background first and then I took this midnight and these are called fresco finish chalk acrylics by the way then I took this midnight one and I stenciled on these little paw prints the next thing I did was I added this strip of puppy dogs and this is fussy cut from my paper which is authentic and I put that across there it's called companions and um, I put some ribbons on to make a closure. So that is the cover. So let's take a peek inside. So the um, journal has four signatures to it. The signatures are the little books that are in the journal and they are put into the journal with elastic. So you make up the little books, slip them under the elastic and you're done. It's a great way to make journals. It's a lot faster. Okay, so let's take a look here. Now this right here is a uh, piece of chipboard and I did this paw print that looks like a heart with um, the baked texture in, uh, what's it called, chunky rust. It has the best texture to it. It's it's not at all smooth. It's, it's kind of a rough feel and it's, it's really, really pretty cool. So then I just painted the rest of this. And then inside we have flip, lots of flips and tucks. Here's a, a little pocket with a um, that opens up. And I cut this with one of Eileen's dies from the Book Club One collection. I think it's from the book, book plates. And it normally, you know, it cuts just one. So if you extend the die just off the paper, you'll get a fold in it like this. It's kind of a fun way to do something. Also, the word love is also from the first book club collection. Okay, here is another flip up in that cutest little image. I just love that. Okay, so then this folds out and there are two little tags in here and that cute little file folder. That's a Sizzix file folder from years ago. And I just stamped where you could do a little journaling. This is design paper. Okay, then this is a, an Eileen die from a while ago and it's um, banners. Okay, here is our second signature. And this flips up and flips down. So I've got this cute little dog bone shaped um, paper clip. Oh, I couldn't tell you where I got it. I've had it for years, but I think it's so cute. Okay, another flip. There's a belly band that goes vertical. And inside we have, this is a pocket page that has a pullout. 
this is um, there's another little pocket there and then we have a pull out here where you can put lots of pictures and on the back you can put more pictures and here's the third signature another pull out where you can put pictures and another place for a picture and then this is a waterfall where you can put a series of small pictures and another belly band now this is a small journal in that it is only five inches high and about three and a half inches wide so it's great for putting little pictures in another place where you could put lots of pictures tuck spot where you tuck your pictures and then another little pull out that opens up and slips in there and that's the third signature and then the fourth one is a little notebook where you can write down all your dog stories I have so many dog stories this I've had dogs all my life and I could just write forever about all the fun things that they do now on the front here is a little chipboard and it's a little poodle I have two standard poodles so that's why we have a poodle here and first I painted it with Seth's buff paint which happens to just perfectly match the dirty sand uh, baked texture embossing powder so then for the parts on the poodle that are curly the ankles and the chest and all that um, I use the dirty sand embossing powder and it just looks perfect it really makes that texture and looks like poodle hair so I love that and then the back cover just little places where you can put things okay so that is my wrap journal I want to thank Seth Apter and Emerald Creek for the wonderful paints and embossing powders have really enjoyed using them I think you will love them so thank you for spending a little time with me today if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up I appreciate it until next time.